So Hublot has released this uh, new smartwatch, probably the first ever smartwatch from them, I think. Yes, I think so. Uh, called the Big Bang E. So we already have this uh, design called Big Bang, but I guess the E stands for electronic, so a smartwatch version of it. I thought it was a rumor, so I just actually shared it on my Twitter, but um, um, I think it's been officially confirmed also in their website as well, and also uh, Verge have actually confirmed it as well in other articles regards to gadget related articles. So it comes with two different finishes. One is the titanium finish and the other one is the black ceramic and both of them are 42 mil. So it's a nice size, a nice bezel, but the problem is the bezel itself. Normally, if you look at the Big Bang or any other Hublot design, I think the general design of Hublot is to have this, these screw marks. Very nice industrial sort of feel on it. Um, but the, and the reason it's called Big Bang is because the body shape itself follows the Big Bang range. I think the Big Bang is, the more cheaper version, apologies, I'm not really into Hublot because they are too expensive on my side, so I never gave thoughts on it, but um, the bezel of the Big Bang E is really putting off. It doesn't have the screw marks on the bezel. It has this big chunky numbers, uh, 12 to all the way to 11 written on it, and it really puts off. You just kind of look at it and going, huh? Is that actually Hublot other than the logo written on it? But then again, um, it's affordable, rather affordable than the original craftsmanship applied uh, mechanical uh, here below. This is a smart watch. So I think that's where guys like me who really, who, if if it's someone who really, really want a Hublot, might really consider buying one of them. It's a rubber strap, but it's designed to come up with various straps, same as the um, the Tag Heuer, the way how they market it. And so, so, so you start to think that, um, okay it feels like the same company but in fact it is and the twist of this whole story is the fact that Hublot and also uh, Tag Heuer just like Louis Vuitton is under a company called LVMH uh, so it stands for Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy so it's a French multinational corporation and conglomerate uh, specializing in luxury goods so um, I assume that the Tag Heuer marketing, smartwatch marketing has really hit off. So probably they thought, hmm, we should come up with more expensive brand and we own Hublot. Why don't we try Hublot as well? And the Hublot price is actually three times more. The cheapest um, Tag Heuer, more, three times more than the cheapest Tag Heuer smartwatch that has been really released recently. So this is the uh, Tag Heuer connected that you're seeing here, three times more. So there must be people who are buying it, but this is what's really disappointing about this Hublot watch, okay? So if you look at the spec, the um, Hublot actually comes with a spec of Snapdragon 3100 uh, chip. Sounds very fancy. But in fact, that's the same uh, chip that is applied to the uh, Tag Heuer connected as well that has been released more than a month ago. The backup with eight gigabytes of storage, same as the Tag Heuer connected, and um, one gigabyte RAM, which is the same as Tag Heuer uh, connected. But this is the big disappointed news, okay? So the Tag Heuer connected has 430 milliamp hour of battery life, while as the Hublot only has just above 300. So in fact, we're gonna have a shorter battery life than the Tag Heuer Connected, but it has a Hublot logo on it. And I'm sure it will have its own customized, um, only available on Hublot smartwatch um, design face. Um, but I'm just wondering, I mean, knowing all this fact, uh, knowing the strategy of the LVMH is doing, would you fall for it or would you um, not buy it? I, I just wonder what how people think about this whole strategy that is established by LVMH. Um, they're doing very well, by the way, they're a huge company, but the battery life, I mean, I, I think a lot of people in the way how they judge the quality of the smartwatch, it seems to always come down to the battery life and it's really putting off for the condition with the Big Bang E Hublot's uh, brand. So um, let me know what you think, but uh, I don't think 
I can afford this sort of price for a smartwatch. I'd rather buy something else. But then again, there must be a lot of people like producer Michael or someone like that who could easily afford these for peanuts. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching this video. I will look forward to hear your guys' thought on this newly released Big Bang E by Hublot, which is under the company called LVMH. So thank you very much. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.